So starting the test drive in this Tahoe RST, love the, the engine setup here, just the powertrain setup in general, getting the, the cab back exhaust, the performance air intake, the bigger 6.2 liter V8. Just has a nice growl to it. Feels like the older Yukons, just how burly they sounded. And the ride, even on these 20s, pretty comfortable. It doesn't ride like an Escalade, but certainly gets the job done. And just a nice, strong growl from the engine bay. Now I will say for $80,000, I wish we had cooled seats, but other than that, everything's really nice in here. Pretty luxurious. And I mean, that sound is just so strong. Now with this one only having seven miles, I don't wanna necessarily floor it, but we're in a pretty good range here. You can hear the sound, get a feel for the vehicle. And again, the ride quality is pretty superb. Specifically on this stretch of the interstate. And then we're getting right at 23 miles per gallon. So pretty close to that 14 city, 18 highway. I would expect you get a little bit better fuel economy depending on how you drive. And the brake pedal feels good. Of course, with us having the Brembo brakes, you're gonna have pretty phenomenal stopping power. Now for this price point, again, being almost $80,000, I will say there are just a few things missing for me, but a lot of it's made up for with this performance edition, specifically this exhaust, the wheels, and the air intake kit. Honestly, the 6.2, with everything else, I probably wouldn't miss it, but it's nice to have all these aftermarket, well, I should say LPO add-ons, and then also having this big engine. And it just, it sounds so mean in the best way. I mean, if you want to, you could call this basically a Corvette SUV. I mean, you do have the 10 speed automatic in here, the 6.2 liter V8. But just a great, again, can't say enough about how nice this thing sounds in terms of, I guess from a performance standpoint, it's just, it's mean, it's the best way to describe it. But in terms of the competition, I mean, you could get a I think the Expedition makes that, whatever that is that you get in the the limited trim level, and then you can get that uh, package that gives you the red brake calipers and gives you like an extra 40 horsepower or something like that. But that's still a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. And as much as I like twin turbo V6s, the 6.2 V8 just has a different has a different feel to it. Just that naturally aspirated rumble, just being able to put your foot to the floor and just get that that pull, that V8 pull as opposed to the turbos kicking in on a V6 when they feel like it. It's just something about this. Now, of course, you're getting a little worse fuel economy as opposed to the V6, but again, it's just nothing like that naturally aspirated V8. But in my opinion, if you're in the market for something like this, you certainly won't be disappointed with all the features you get and of course all the performance 
aspects that are part of this Tahoe. But this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2023 Chevy Tahoe RST Performance Edition.